Welcome back guys. This is Annie from Smart Heart. In the previous video, we had learnt about various material design themes that are being introduced for the Android devices having API level 21 and above. In this video, we will be applying those themes in our application and seeing the changes that takes place in our application window with the toolbar and the status bar. We will be also looking into the compatibility issues that arises for various API levels of our Android devices. So let's switch to Android Studio and learn more about material design themes. This was our default Android application that we had made in the previous video. Now let's move to styles.xml file and apply the material theme that we had learnt about in the previous video. Now guys, let's change this theme and see what changes takes place in our application. Let's delete this present theme and let's change the theme to theme.material and see how our activity main.xml changes. We can see here guys, there is the dark window that appears in our application with the dark shade of status bar and toolbar. We had seen the Android device picture in the previous video, but here we can see the actual change that takes place in our application. Let's apply some other themes and see how our application changes. Let's change the theme to theme.material.light. And here it is, the application window has changed to the lighter version of the app material theme, with the light version of the toolbar and the status bar remaining the same. Now let's apply few more themes. Let's change it to theme.material.light.darkactionbar and see how our activity main.xml changes. This is it. The application window has the lighter shade and the toolbar is dark. That is, it is the dark action bar. Now let's change the theme to theme.material.noActionbar. And here we see guys, theme.material has the property of dark application window whereas the no action bar removes the toolbar from our application. If we change it to theme.material.light.noAction bar, we have the application window as light that is the property of theme.material.light and no action bar removes the action bar from our application. Now guys, there is a thing to be marked here. There is an error which shows theme.material.light.noAction bar requires API level 21 and the current minimum is 17. This is what the compatibility issue is. Our current minimum is 17, but the Android material themes that are being introduced are for API level 21 and above. We need to design our app in such a way that it has to be compatible for the devices having the minimum API level below 21 as well. Let's move to the build.gradle file and see what is it all about. We can see the minimum SDK version is 17, but the Android material theme requires the minimum SDK version of 21. So this is what the compatibility issue is. This is where we need to make our application compatible with all the Android devices. That is, we need to maintain the backward compatibility so that our Android application runs on all the devices. Now I'll be telling you about the themes with backward compatibility what are the themes that are to be used so that our application can run on devices with API level below 21. Theme.material of material theme which runs on API level 21 and above is derived from theme.appcompact. That is the respective theme for theme.material is theme.appcompact. For devices with API level below 21, the dark version will appear if we apply the theme.appcompact. Same way, theme.material.light comes from theme.appcompact.light or we can say theme.material.light corresponds to theme.appcompact.light. Theme.material.darkActionBar has the respective theme of theme.appcompact.darkActionBar. Same way, theme.appcompact.noActionBar is the corresponding theme for theme.material.noActionBar. These are the themes for the backward compatibility which will run on Android devices with API level below 21. In the next video, we will be implementing this backward compatibility theme in our Android application project so that our app runs on all Android devices. That's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, 
do share and leave your comment below the video subscribe to our channel and help us grow i also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description you can go there and refer to it for further videos stay tuned keep smiling and have a good day